Well, chocolate tasting, winter water skiing, and a Harry Potter. There's a lot to do this weekend. There is a lot. Mm -hmm. Here's Emily DeVoe with your 10 about town. Experience the magic of Harry Potter with a live orchestra. The Knoxville Symphony Orchestra will be performing the soundtrack to Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban as the movie plays on the big screen at the Knoxville Civic Auditorium. Showtimes are Friday at 7.30 p.m. and Saturday at 1.30. Friday is Scout Night at the Knoxville Ice Bears. The hockey team faces off against the Fayetteville Marksmen at 7.30 p.m. at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum. The Dogwood Arts House and Garden Show is happening all weekend long at the Knoxville Convention Center. Shop hundreds of retailers who will be set up to give their advice on interior design, home improvement, gardening, and more. Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella is coming to the Tennessee Theater this weekend. The Tony Award-winning Broadway musical, based on the classic fairy tale, does have some new twists. There are performances Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's time once again for Wayne Stock. The two-day music fest began eight years ago when members of the music community wanted to support a local music writer after the sudden death of his son. Bands play Friday and Saturday at the Relics Variety Theater. If you feel like running this weekend, the annual Strawberry Plains Half Marathon and 10K is Saturday morning at 9. The race starts and ends at Rush Strong School in downtown Strawberry Plains. The run for their lives 5K is also Saturday. The 10 a.m. run starts at the University of Tennessee Gardens and raises money to help sexually exploited women and children. Help Imes Nature Center get rid of an invasive weed they call the Winter Creeper. They're looking for volunteers beginning at 9 a.m. on Saturday. Chocolate Fest returns to Knoxville on Saturday. Chocolate specialists from all over the area will be offering tasty samples. Tickets range from $5 to $50 and benefit the Ronald McDonald House. Brave the cold for the annual Eskimo Escapades. Skiers and tubers will hop in the chilly Tennessee River to raise money for charity. If you're too cold, there will be hot tubs set up outside. The event lasts from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday. For more info on these and other events, head over to our website or pick up a copy of this week's Go Knoxville magazine, your things-to-do guide brought to you by the Knoxville News Sentinel. All right, tomorrow is also the first day of February, which means there will be a plenty of First Friday art walk activities downtown and in the Old City. Well, it's chilly outside today, but it's a lot colder up north. We just like to make you feel